Thinking of getting a reusable face mask or already own one? Here's what you need to know. The most important rule when wearing face masks. It would not work if it is not worn properly. It should be tight, leaving no openings, no gaps. Next tip, bring your mask to a light. If light comes through the mask, it is probably not thick enough to stop your nasty particles. Oh, did you know? Your sneeze can travel up to 26 feet away. Ugh. Now let's deconstruct the layers. The mask should be made of at least two layers of tightly woven cotton. Even better if there's a built-in pocket to insert filter. Aside from cotton, four layers of natural silk, chiffon, flannel, and 100% polyester are also effective. Hybrid combinations of these produce electrostatic and physical filterings. Do avoid synthetic silk and satin. As for filters, look out for filters made from non-woven fabrics such as polypropylene, as the cling effect from the electrostatic charge traps incoming and outgoing droplets. Depending on the filter, a single layer one like this should be disposed after each use. For multiple layered filters such as the PM2.5, which essentially has five layers, it's said to go up to five light uses. But the best practice is still to replace your filter daily. You should also wash your cloth masks daily with detergent and warm water. Reuse it only when it's fully dried. When wearing a mask, you should never touch the insides. Only use the ear straps and tighten the wires on your nose bridge. When you're out, fold your mask into half and keep it in a paper or sealed plastic bag to avoid contamination. Oh, and if you have a mask that looks like this, you might want to replace it. It defeats the purpose of wearing a mask because you're basically releasing unfiltered air. In a nutshell, a mask alone will not protect you from COVID-19, but wearing it protects others from your droplets. That's why a collective effort works. More importantly, remember to keep your hands clean and practice social distancing. Stay safe.